Good afternoon, 21st century educators. Welcome to the first day of our national conference with the title, 2023 National Work Call on Enhancing the Writing and Publishing Skills of the 21st Century Educators and Researchers. Allow me to remind you that your microphone should be muted at all times. Aside from that, we want you also to conform to the following rules for this event. First, opening of the camera is recommended. Second, always mute your microphone. Third, use headphones or earphones. Fourth, find a seat or location that is comfortable and well lighted. Fifth, it is advised to wear business or smart casual attire. Six, finish the whole webinar and complete the evaluation form for you to get your e-certificate. Seven, always direct your concerns through a personal message on our page or in slido.com provided code so we can provide an answer to your concerns. I am Mr. Ronaldi Dominez, your moderator for this event. To formally start our program, may we request everyone to be in silence for a prayer. Let's put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Lord, we offer everything to you in this event and thank you for the opportunity of gathering us today. We glorify you for this event and thank you for every person that is with us today. May you guide our speaker so that we would be able to effectively impart his God-given wisdom to all of us. May he be blessed as he continues to share his expertise with everyone who needs them. Continue to protect our nation and all of our brothers and sisters. Keep us safe, O oh Lord. Amen. For the information of everyone, our three-day event is sponsored by the following organizations. Philippine Institute of 21st Century Educators Incorporation, Industry 4.0, Comprehensive Organization of Revitalized Educators Incorporation, and International Alliance of Mathematics Teachers Incorporation. Our session for this afternoon will deal with the discussion on how to write a book from start to finish, which is sponsored by PICE 21. We have allocated two hours for our afternoon session, and we have up to 7 p.m. for the schedule. And to all our active members wanting to get a certificate for this event, don't forget to register and have a confirmation from our secretariat members. Before I formally introduce you to our speaker, I would like to inform you that uh, we will be having the open forum or the question and answer portion after the speaker's presentation. For our listener, listeners here in Zoom, uh, you may use the chat function to share your thoughts or questions on the topic. Our resource speaker this afternoon is currently a full-time senior high school teacher, research and testing coordinator of Raceville National High School, and professorial lecturer in Coleo de San Gabriel Aganen. He has taught courses in almost all facets of natural science and research in secondary and tertiary levels. He obtained his license as educator in 2015. He continues to contribute to academia as researcher, innovator, resource speaker, lecturer, thesis advisor, statistician, evaluator, demonstration teacher, and paper presentation at various seminars, conferences, and science fairs. Mr. Samosa, armed with the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology, Diploma in Teacher Education, Master of Arts in Education major in Biology, Master of Arts in Teaching Science, and Doctor of Philosophy in Science Education. Mr. Samosa fosters his professional, professional growth by attending international, national, and regional conferences and seminar workshops, and by being an active member of the Philippine 
Association for the Career Advancement of Educators, Philippine Educational Measurement and Evaluation Association Incorporation, Biology Teachers Association of the Philippines, Philippine Association of Physics and Science Instructors, and Leadership in Education Academy and Development Philippines. He also published several textbooks, includes the following. Understanding the end-to-end -end practice of quantitative research from proposal to paper presentation. General Biology 1 and 2, General Chemistry 1 and 2, Practical Research 2, Quantitative Research, Practical Research 1, Qualitative Research, Inquiries, Investigation and Immersion, how to write and publish your thesis, a practical guide for students and teachers, and how to write and publish your dissertation, exploring the essence and meaning from the sound of experiences, qualitative research, fundamentals of earth science, and from proposal to presentation, demystifying action research, a manual for basic education teachers. In addition, he published research in high indexes international journals. He also is also one of the peer reviewers of the International Journal of Discoveries and Innovation in Applied Sciences, International Journal of Innovative Analysis and Emerging Technology, European Journal of Agricultural and Rural Education, International Review of Social Sciences, Research and International Journal on Development and Public Policy. He was the 2019 Action Research Champion in the 5th Division Research Congress for Teachers category. He also won second Outstanding Action Research Paper in the 7th Division Research Congress for Teachers category in the DepEd City of San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. He also backed the 2021 Global Outstanding Teacher for Leadership in Education Academy and Development Philippines. 2021 Global Leader Award in Excellence Leadership and Global Educator Award in Research Beyond Book Publication. 2021 Outstanding Teachers, Teacher, World Educators, World Educator Leaders Summit and Awards. 2021 Outstanding Teacher in Research, 2021 Best Speaker in the, in the Research Intellectual Discussions, Institute of Industry and Ac Academic Research, Incorporated in partnership with University Technology Mara in Thailand, 2021 Outstanding Educator of the Philippine Association of Physics, Science Instructors, and 2020 Outstanding Teacher in Research, Dep Ed Bulacan, and 2022 Outstanding Learning Resource Developer of Dep Ed Bulacan. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Dr. Rusty C. Samosa. Uh, thank you, po, uh, Sir Ronel. Allow me to share my PowerPoint presentation. Yes, sir. Go uh, ahead, sir. By the way, in this session, I will share two learning materials. Uh, the first one will be the, the learning packet. It be it can be utilized for the Department of Education and for higher education institution. Another one is a a, len a lesson exemplar that can be also utilized as a book if you're going to publish that in the international uh, publication or a local publication book. Okay, my topic is all about how to write a book from start to finish. Most of my uh, manuscript, uh, for example, research, I always think on how to present paper from scratch to presentation today or to this in this afternoon i will go in to share with you how to write book from start to finish or from scratch to publication uh, this is our session target the first one 
are uh, these are the following session targets. The first one is how to write a book or any lesson or any learning materials. Kasi we are going to more specific on books on uh, or other published learning materials na gusto natin gawin. The second one is a step in writing a book and other published learning materials. The second one, uh, the third one, uh, we need to uh, focus also on social guidelines in writing a books and other learning materials. Okay. We all know that when you are writing a paper or a book or a lear learning materials, or either it is a big book or a novel, there is no secret formula to tough or to make a creative uh, a creative book or a, your your book. Some author would tell you there is no single path for authorships as a very uh, for every writer's or author of a book, may unique na ginagawa. Because ang writer or isang author, kailangan niyang gamamit ng mga innovative way or innovative strategy. However, almost ev every bestseller author or writer will have a highly effective writing pattern and habits that help them to reach their goals from from scratch up to up to your uh publication of your book or your learning materials or either your research man your research paper today i will go in to share to you my 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 ways on how to write my books the first one is you're going to start with an idea or your area of specialization that you love or ano yung gusto mong sulat eh, with regards to your uh, book. You need to focus on your idea, your innovative idea on writing your, your manuscript or your book or your story or your novel. We need to focus on your area of specialization. Remember, the one thing that you absolutely need to write a book is, is, of course, an idea or your area of specialization. You need to focus on your area of specialization and also your idea on writing your book. Remember, you need to identify your strengths and your weaknesses with regards to uh, syntax of your writing. Uh, kailangan mo rin tignan yung mga ideas with regards on how you simplified your book to better understand ng mga readers or ng mga, ng mga students or ng mga uh, mambabasa mo. Uh, when I do, uh, when I write my books, I always think an innovative way to easily understand and utilize by other teachers my write-ups or my manuscript. We need to focus on your idea on how you're going to simplify on how to write your book, your pattern of your book, your design of your book, and your also your specialization on the idea that you need to encompass when you're writing your book. The next one, isa sa madalas na ginagawa ko kapag nagsusulat ako ng mga libro, I need to research or I need to research by reading books by other writers or author. When you're reading other textbooks or books or manuscript or novels or big book, you can better understand their style, their uh, pattern of utilizing their ideas or utilization of their ideas. We need to uh, research on how to simplified the thoughts of other other writers and authors that will be cited in your manuscript or your book. Kasi uh, most of my books naman na sinusulat ay more on textbooks or more on academic books that can be utilized by a graduate program or a graduate student or an undergrad student or a master's student in senior high school. Kailangan Ang una kong gagawin is to 
to read other books. From that, makikita ko on how other research, other writers and author write their books or their books. And for every reading na ginagawa ko with regards to my uh, my manuscripts or kailangan natin tignan yung mga tinatawag natin na the story of other writers when they are writing their uh, books. Tignan nyo kung paano niya sinulat. Paano, kung ano yung story niya. Kung paano niya isinulat. The story is not referring to uh, referring to their how they write the book. It's all about the story on how they uh, disseminate the book with regards to conceptual understanding or the knowledge behind of their book. The story kung paano niya isinulat with regards to their uh, pattern, with regards to the activity, the assessments, the performance tasks or the assessment tasks na isunod niya. The story behind of how they create their directions on their assessment. You need to research by reading the books of other research, other writer or authors or other researchers. The next one, you need to outline your, your book. By outlining your book, you can uh, uh, create a great story of your own book. Uh, especially kung ito ay unang book nyo. Kailangan mag-outline ka with regards kung ano yung mga... Uh, anong, uh, for example, gusto mong magsulat ng libro ng uh, research. For example... Ang una mong outline is the uh, research methods. Defi you're going to define research according to different uh, scholars. And after reading and researching the definition of research from other author or from other writers, you can grasp a better understanding kung paan yung nadinipayan yung research and you can create your own definition from their insights or their, from their uh, meaning without infecting uh, biases and prejudice na kokopyahin mo yung definition of other authors. By reading other books, makikita mo kung paano mo maa-outline din yung books mo. Kung ano yung sequence ng book. Remember, kapag sa sa academic uh, academic institution kahit din sa curriculum or sa syllabus kailangan din natin i-outline din yung book nyo kung paano siya isusulat okay another uh, solid blueprint that you need to focus is the subject matter that you're going to include for every chapter of your book for example do sa research kailangan mahiwalay-hiwalay mo yung mga subject areas or subject matter that are aligned or to sim that align with the uh, your your entry focus for example your your chapter 1 will focus on the nature of research the chapter 2 will focus on the uh, literature we need to outline your parts of your books and you need to outline also your time frame when you're writing your book. This is how you're going to write a book. There is a timeline for every chapters. There is a timeline for every research and readings for every chapter. At lagi natin tatandaan when, we are, when you are writing a book, hindi nyo minamadali. Okay? Do not... Uh, Paano ba natin sasabihin ng mas madali? Uh, wag niyong, ano, wag natin masyadong pahirapan yung sarili nyo with regards to writing your book. You need to outline from the, from the beginning of your chapter up to the last chapter of your book. Then after that, pwede ka naman mag-insert ng mga ibang topics or ibang subject matter or ibang lessons from your book. Or kung ito ay isang, kung ito naman ay isang novel, 
we need to outline the story of your novel. If it is referring to children's book, you need to outline the focus of your stories or your children's stories. And you need to apply, you need to also to maximize your genre with regards to your book na gusto niyo susulatin. Remember, when you're outlining the book, you need to pick also the format that you works for your book. We need to focus on the format of your books. For example, if, it, if your books or your reference books, you cater graduate uh, students, you need to outline the basic principles of a graduate student's syllabus or graduate syllabus or a master's degree syllabus para ma-outline mo that your books are aligned with the curriculum. If it is a an educational books or a professional education books, you need to research first the, the syllabus or the prospectus of the Commission of Higher Education with regards to professional educations na ma-access nyo naman sa, sa CHED. And you need to outline the basic principles or topics from the syllabus prescribed by the Commission of Higher Education or prescribed by the, by the Department of Education. And also, we need to format your books based on the outline prescribed by the commissions. For example, in the Department of Education, you need to apply PPST. In the, in the Commission of Higher Education, you need to to outline your books with regards to a print, a, a synchronous and synchronous mode of presentation of your book. These are the focal point when you're outlining the book. Another one is you need to also to outline the conflicts with regards to your time. You need to outline your conflict with regards to the time management, kung paano niyo susulatin. These are some of my suggestions kapag nagsusulat ako ng, ng libro. Siyempre, we, we are working, we are a working person, we need to outline also some of your conflicts and to maximize your ability when you are writing a book. Tandaan natin, when you are writing a book, kailangan concentrate, uh, we need to con concentrate on the subject matter and to uh, concentrate also on your abilities kasi kapag masyadong fresher ka sa pagsusulat, hindi mo siya matatapos agad. Next, another one, also share with uh, a format or an outline of the book that we can utilize when you are writing your, your own book. Uh, this, is a, this, is for, this format is based on... Uh, an innovative format of Dr. Fernando, Madeline Fernando, and Erwin Omamil. The format of, uh, of their books is Focus on Gear app format. These books are intended for, for example, ginamit ko siya in, in the senior high school. I adapt the format of uh, Dr. Francisco. These books are intended for senior high school learners which offer effective strategy to support science instruction, increase learning mastery, learner's mastery in the key science skills, and improve science performance. It contains the following parts in an acronym Gear Up, which Gear Up means to prefer or equip oneself for something or to get ready. This is a learning packet. Tagsadabin kasi learning packet, it's a type of a book, it's an innovative way of presenting your book by utilizing learning packet it's it's a a book effective for increasing the mastery level of the students and also it supports science instructions or your instructions or your pedagogy and it's also utilized in improving the science performance of your students if your students are identified as this mastered okay it, it's a and it's a an innovative way of presenting your book by utilizing gear up format. The gear up format are divided onto different sets of uh, domain. The first one is get started. When you're outlining your book, 
syempre, kailangan nyo, you need to introduce the lesson or the subject matter. We are focused on the reference book, ha, that are focused on these mastered learners. Ang book na ginawa, ang book na ginawa ko dito ay nakapokus sa mga these mastered learner para mas madini nila ma-master yung subject matter. The second one is establish the purpose, present the expected learning outcomes. In this uh, portion, establishing the purpose of the of the lesson, we need to enumerate the most essential learning competency or the intended learning outcomes. If it is you are in the higher education institution, if it is you are in the uh, uh, department of education, dito niya ilalagay yung most essential learning competency in establishing the purpose of the lesson. The next one is activating prior knowledge. These are an activity that builds the learner's initial knowledge. Or these are some of activities that utilize to improve the uh, initial knowledge of the learners. The next one is read and engage with the text. Remember, right now, the Philippines are, are have a problem with regards to reading comprehensions. So that you need to establish and you need to improve learners' reading comprehension so that you can get a, grasp a better uh, results with regard uh, to their performance. Kapag mababa kasi ang reading comprehensions or reading skills ng learners will also affect their performance so that you can uh, utilize readings while engaging the learners with regards to the subject matter. Next is upgrade your skills. By the way, in read and engage with the text, dito mo na ipipresent yung lessons mo or yung mga topics mo. Then the next one, upgrade your skills. These are these provide uh, some assessment or evaluation or uh, quizzes, multiple choice examinations, or some of your uh, assessment, evaluation, of, uh, and others. The next one is powder the ideas learn. You're going to encourage the learners to reflect on their lesson learned through journal or through reflections. So that is an example of a, a format of your book. But this format is focuses on a learners who are ex, who are identified uh, challenge learners with regards to the subject matter. Pwede mo siyang gamitin as your innovative materials. Pero nakabook na siya. Okay, I will show to you an example of this portion. Wait po ah. Okay. Nakikita po ba yung aking ano? Slide po. Ay, yung aking documents. Yes, sir. Yes. Itong perform the arithmetic operation on na hindi. Hindi na po yung naka full screen. Ito, ito po. Wait. This is an ex uh, example ng learning packet po. Na ngayon ay isa sa mga innovations ko with regards to uh, action research. It's different from uh, learning modules ha, kasi ang focus mo dito ay mga least mastered learners. Sir, bakit ko ang focus mo ay least mastered learners sa yung book? Kasi most of our learners ngayon ay identified na may problems. So that some of the lessons or write-ups or write-ups mo dito ay madadali lang maunawaan ng learners to master the basic competencies na hindi mo dinidisregard yung other na mastered naman yung mga skills. For example, this is the topic, perform arithmetic operation on rational numbers. This is your introductions by utilizing conceptual understanding, by providing ideas. Then the next one, this is the most essential learning competency by utilizing the competencies and the sub-competencies. Then after that, uh, you're going to create your activating prior knowledge activities by providing different situational activities or real-life situations activities. Then after that, your guide questions. Then, dito mo na i-insert yung 
yung mga text with regards to your subject matter. So that your ID, your uh, write-ups on the subject matter. Integers, then the rules of integers. And giving an illustrative example. Remember when you are writing a book, provide more illustrative examples. Kung ito ay mathematics. Then after that, uh, summary of your class or your readings that the learners can better understand all or the most essential skills in your uh, directions clearly. Then after that, you can provide a performance task or a powder the idea ideas to performance tasks or through journals. This is an example of a, a learning packet then provide a reference book. Another one, magbigay pa ko na isa pa po, is a, a learning materials of my wife. Learning materials to ng wife, ng wife ko. I also uh, provide uh, her with regards to some of coaching and mentoring with regards to their uh, book. It is a book for mathematics for the mod mathematics in the modern world. The first one will be chapter three. This is the topic. Then the lesson. Then you're going to provide your overview. Iba na may yung kanyang innovative uh, sequence of presenting the lesson or subject matter. Meron siyang overview. Then an introductory statement. Then objectives from their syllabus. Or this is the intended learning outcomes. Then after that, nagpo-provide din siya ng pretest. Yeah, pika ka niyan. Yan. This one, Ay, the pretest. Okay. Eh, ginalod. Eh, anak ka na rin ni. Kanyan na, kanyan na. Uh, excuse me. Uh, may you request uh, the participants to please uh, mute your mic. Ayan. Thank you. Open cam ka dapat? On at attendance. On. O na yan. Mm -hmm. Eh, no, iiyakan dyan. Ito ka na dyan ni Kaito. Can you please mute your mic, please? Okay, the next one is the learning activities or these are the subject matter. Okay. I repeat, your, if, it, if your subject areas or your area of specialization is mathematics, provide more examples so that the readers or the learners or the students or your 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 uh, clients can grasp a better understanding on the subject matter. Then after that, provide a practice task before the assessment. Again, this is a practice task or a drills na pwede provide. Then after that, this is the post test. And your references. Proper citations po. And also, the photos na ginamit nyo po. Kailahan masayit nyo rin po siya. Okay? Okay. After na-provide ko yung outline of your book or outline of your, your learning materials, you need to plan the opening sentence of your book. For example, nakapag-plan ka na, nakapag-outline ka na ng iyong parts ng iyong lessons from your book. Siyempre, hindi pa nyo, di nyo pa naman kaagad nilalagyan ng content yun. Na-plan nyo pala. Na, na, Nagyan nyo pala kung ano yung mga bumubuo sa book mo. Then after that, you need to plan the opening sentence of your book. Ito yung tinatawag natin na preface of your book. Okay. Siyempre, Sir, bakit preface of your book agad? Wala pang content. The most important thing is you need to provide the opening sentences or the opening of your book based on your experiences as a writer. 
Then after that, magdadagdagan pa naman yun, may na-edit pa naman yun with regards to ano pa yung mga pwede nyong ilagay. Uh, let's get into actual writing and mix that with regards to your first draft of your research. One of the most important parts of writing a book is starting the story of your own your own expertise. And uh, remember, there is no exaggeration with regards to this uh, portion or with regards to this uh, step. Ang una nyo, to inspire, to inspire you to complete your manuscript, you need to first write the opening sentence of your book. Kung baga ito yung preface mo or your acknowledgement of your book. Kahit hindi ba siya totally natatapos. To inspire you to finish your paper. Okay? The next one is you need to write the first drop of your book. By following the outline of your book, pwede mo na umpisahan yung first drop ng yung book. Remember, you need to keep the readers in mind while you're writing. Lagi nang titignan when you are writing a book. Kailangan kinikater nyo yung readers nyo. Do not write a book based on your level of understanding. Based on your your kapaa, kumbaga yung level ng understanding nyo, ah, kailangan madali siya maunawaan ng readers. Kailangan yung mga mga uh, illustrative examples for math can easily understand its procedural, its a process approach. If it is a science concept, we need to provide a contextualized ideas on Philippine science. If it is a historical book, uh, it is a social science book or history book, we, you need to provide a substantial evidence with regards to the content of your book. We need to cite an uh, expert with regards to historical features, with regards to the culture that you are going to present in your, your book. Kung ito ay... Uh, uh, society and culture na po. We need to focus on the first, we need to focus on the uh, your clients or your your learners kapag nagsusulat kayo ng book or sinusulat nyo inyong learning manuscripts or your academic book kasi kapag nagsusulat ka ng first draft, kailangan yung tignan yung readers ninyo yung magbabasa. The next one is you need to Focus on the continuity of the pattern of your outline of your book. Kailangan nyo sundin yung continuity ng ginawa nyong pattern ng book. Kung ang ginamit nyo ay gear up, yun ang, umpis, yun ang gagamitin ng pattern ng inyong book or sequence ng book nyo. Hindi na siya pwede mabago from, from the last part from the first part of your book up to the last part. Kasi it's the pattern of your book. And in the introductory statement of your book, ipoprovide nyo na at i-explain nyo na yung sequence ng, ng inyong learning materials or ng yung book. Doon pa lang di-discuss nyo kung ano ang gear up, kung ano ang composition ng gear up. Kaya kailangan makita pa lang doon sa opening ng inyong book Kung ano, yung, kung ano yung sequence ng book ninyo, at dun sa first drop ng inyong book, nakita rin po siya. Next, you need to set a schedule with your achievable goals. Why? We need to focus on the practical ways that you are going to improve your writing habits. Remember, kahit tayo mga working professionals, when you are writing a book, may mga hindrances tayo, May mga problem encounters tayo when you are writing a book with regards to time management. We need to uh, count. We need to to make a timetable of your uh, chapter of your book. And we also focus yung mga words na kailangan yung ilagay doon that are aligned with the social guidelines. And you need to set the schedule with regards to the achievable goals na matatapos nyo ang book nyo for for almost uh, seven months or five months or a uh, one one year kailangan na meron kayong uh, sets of goals na matatapos yung schedule nyo with with regards to the submission of your book kasi 
For example, kapag ikaw ay magpapasa ng book mo at for publication, will be discussed by uh, Dr. Kapuso, yung ISBN. Siyempre, madalas kukuha na muna ng ISBN. Then after that, maka makakapag-gain ka na ng, ng, registry, ng, iyong, ng iyong ISBN. Kailangan may timetable na matatapos mo siya with regards to uh, year of your publications. Next, find a good writing space. After mag-set ka ng goals mo, time goals mo, you need to find a good writing space. Isa sa malaking problem na ma-encounter ma ma nyo ay yung pagsusulat nyo kung ito ay nasa good con environmental conditions ba kayo kapag nasusulat. For example, ako, tang nagsusulat ako, mas prepared ko na magsulat ng gabi at tahimik kaysa sa umaga ako nagsusulat. This is my, my learning style kapag nagsusulat ako ng libro o nagsusulat ako ng mga manuscript ko. You need to find a good writing space kasi kailangan tayo nagsusulat ka walang distractor kasi it will also affect the focus of your, your book and, and the focus of your delivery of your manuscripts. And then, we need to also to separate sections of your uh, jobs kapag nagsusulat ka. For example, kapag nagsusulat ka, uh, hindi pwede na puputol. For example, kailangan matapos mo yung assessment mo within a period of a what day. Kailangan matapos yun, hindi siya mapuputol. Kasi it also affects your, your conditions on assessment practices. And kailangan kapag nagsusulat ka, it's quiet. Noise cancelling yung gagamitin mo. Madalas pwede gumamit ka ng headphone. Parang walang distractions. can be helpful for you. Another one, kailangan clean yung, clean yung tables mo. Exemption to the rule, syempre, kapag maraming books ka na nilagay dyan. Another one, so you're going to turn off your, your cell phones. So, sa mga mapapayok sa inyo when you are writing your book, turn off your book, your cell phones. Kapag nagsusulat kayo, it's also affect your, your ability to, to disseminate information dun sa books nyo. Next, give yourself initiatives to finish your first your your draft of your manuscript. Make a list of reasons why you want to write a book. And the next one, having a tangible uh, reminders that you that you are true purpose of your write up write ups is to provide learning the uh, learning uh, expertise. to the readers to provide a quality textbook to provide a good uh, delivery of a conceptual understanding na makikita dun sa book nyo give yourselves initiatives to finish your first draft of your research your your book your learning materials your research kasi ang research kasi pwede siya maging book kung ito ay dissertations or master thesis pwede siya maging book Again, ha, pwede siya maging book in dissertation nyo at your thesis. Next. Another one is to, to provide bodies. May kabadi ka dapat. Uh, pwede kumuha ka ng kabadi mo with regards to your, when you're writing a book. Yung kabadi mo is your, your wife, your girlfriend, your best friend, your co-teachers. When you, are from, when you are writing your book, you need to share your experiences when you are writing a book. The most important thing when you are, uh, motiv when you are writing a book, motivate yourselves by, by sharing your ideas, you're sharing your experiences when you're writing a book. These are some of my suggestions when, and how, on how to write a book. Then edit the manuscripts once you finish your, your first, dry, uh, first draft. Sir, how you're going to to edit your manuscript? You need to uh, focus on the content. Sir, paano siya mapo-focus yung content? You need to to uh, to consult expert. Expert in the field that checks 
your content of your manuscript or to, the content of your book. Kasi kailangan may editor yung book ninyo. Or in the in the publishing house naman kasi meron mga sets of editors naman yan. And you need to provide uh, also feedback mechanisms when you are writing your book. Pig not mechanism, you need to provide your your own feedback when when you are writing your own textbooks or your books or your manuscript or learning materials. Sir, what is your own feedback? Kailangan babasahin mo siya ng paulit-ulit. Siguro mga five times to six times. Ganyan kasi yung strategy ko. After matapos ko ng manuscript ko, i-edit ko pa siya. Itignan ko isa-isa kasi ma ma maaaring mangyari na double space, na sobra na space, nagkamin ng spelling, bago niya ipasa dun sa publishing para hindi na siya masadong matagalan sa, sa editing. And you need to also pay attentions or extra attentions with regards to the social guidelines. I will also share with you some of the social guidelines that you need to focus when you are writing your book so that you can edit your book right now if your book are have a problem on the following social guidelines. And after that, you're going to publish your books for readers. Then this is, will be the talk of Dr. Capulso, how you're going to publish your book. Either it is a self-publish or it, you're going to publish in the publishing house talaga. Dr. Capulso will our, our expert with regards to, to publications. Then after that, syempre, when you're writing your books or reference books, Writing your reference book and learning materials, be clear about the reference book's purposes and aspirations. Kasi, when you, uh, for the learners, participants, and communicate this to students. Why? We need to be clear with the purpose of your book and the achievable goals of your book and the outcomes of your book. Sir, what will be the outcomes of your book? Remember that every book's For example, the outcomes of your your book or reference book are focuses on uh, professional education, which are uh, PPST aligned. Or if it is a, in the higher education, higher education, you need to focus on the the intention or the clear understanding that it's an outcome based book. Okay. Then after that, you need to state the aims of your subject matter or the aims of your uh, learning competency na dapat clear. You need to focus on the bloom of blooms of taxonomy. Yung knowledge, comprehension, applications, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation for every parts of your book. Remember that when you're writing a book, the learning competency must be aligned and your assessment practices in your book must be aligned with the learning competencies or the intended learning outcomes of your book. Like, hindi tatandaan yun, ha? Hindi pwede na gumawa kayo ng assessment that are not aligned with the intended learning outcomes or the most essential learning competency. Kasi makikita ka agad ni publishing yan or ni editor that your assessment practices or your assessment are not aligned with the intended learning outcomes or the most essential learning competencies. Next, when you're writing your reference book and learning materials, make sure your reference book is constructively aligned. The learners actively construct their own understanding and all teaching and assessments align with the intended outcomes. Na mukha nang sinabi ko kanina, if your focus of your book is academic and aligned with the professional education or aligned with the nursing, uh, nursing or aligned with criminology books, We need to focus on the intended learning outcomes of every program so that you are, you are sure that your book or your reference book will be a bestseller book because it will also set will be a set of a good reviewer for, for the learners or for your clients at ma, mas magagamit nila to for their professional development also. Remember, when you're writing your reference book, your intended learning outcomes is a focus of your delivery of your conceptual understanding or, or your knowledge to your client and the assessment practices and the teaching and learning practices 
in your book is aligned with the intended learning outcomes or learning objectives or the most essential learning competencies. Then after that, consider the course in, in the context. Remember, kung ito ay book nyo sa inyong university, we need to focus on the uh, vision, mission, and philosophy of your institution. You need to focus on the course of your context. For example, the context of your book is you are belong to the uh, a religious institution or religious schools. So that the intended portion or the, the sequence of your your book is aligned with the institutional philosophy, vision, and missions. And it's also aligned with the types of course or program na will provide you. For example, right now I'm writing a book for accountancy and business in research. How to uh, how to write research in the field of accountancy, business, and management. Even though I'm a science major, I read a lot, a lot with regards to how to write a, a, a write a research in the field of accountancy, business, and management. I have I also have a co-authors who are a uh, doctorate in business administration and accountancy. I will share all my knowledge or my expertise when with regards to writing and research. But with regards to the how to to align the course or the content of the the learning process in in research nandoon na yung mga expert in the field which are aligned dun sa purpose na or context ng ng context ng book the next one is kailangan yung gagawin yung book is aligned with the resource sets of the client for every activity that you're going to provide, kailangan yung mga resources. Nando, ma, madali makuha ng mga bata, particularly sa science. Sa science books or sa mga sa mga tinatawag natin na mga natural science book. Kapag nag-provide kayo ng experiment, sana yung mga activities or mga laboratory experiences na ilalagay nyo doon, kailangan nakakontextualize, na-indigenize, na-lolocalize na mga gagamit ng learning materials mo or book mo or reference book mo. Okay. Kailangan sumaa ang yung reference book or learning materials are aligned with the national and legal requirements with regards to citizenships, with regards to legal uh, legal requirements that kapag ang mga nakalagay na content doon ay sumusunod sa social guidelines. And these are the tips for writing your textbook or your books. You need to frec uh, frec request it the knowledge of the uh, readers or your client. What topics or concepts should readers already be familiar with? Do you need to review this or to further explain them in your book? If you're writing a textbook, you need to identify the needs of your your clients or the needs of your reader if you need to need to to further explain the concept of your subject matter in your textbook or your book you can do it if it is a, a graduate program book don't need to to further explain the concepts but if it is a basic education book you need to further explain every concepts of your subject matter in the book next it's as tips in your textbook, it's a self-contained textbook or book. Yan ang madalas na ginagamit ko kapag nagsusulat ako. Kaya lahat kapag ah, nagsulat ako, wala nang hahanapin na ibang reference yung aking client or reader. Nagdoon na lahat siya. And remember, I have a, co a book. Kaming sunulat ni Dr. Capuso and uh, other another speaker, yung How to Write Thesis and Dissertation. It's a self-contained book for a novice researcher. The students are typically one on staff resources, so you should try to ensure that as much of the information the student needs is presented in your textbook. Ibig sabihin, wala na silang hanapin. Yun lang gagamitin nila. 
para makakuha kayo ng mas maraming bibili ng inyong books or readers. Kailangan kapag meron book kayo, hindi nyo tinipid yung concepts or yung uh, mga ideas. Modular chapters. Students will likely dip and in and out of the text rather than read it linearly from the start to finish. So they so try to make chapter self-contained very possible so they can be understood out of the context of the rest of the textbook. It means when you're writing your textbook or your learning materials, you need to identify the needs of the learners, that the learners are with regards to reading, kailangan, konti lang yung mga, konti lang, hindi masyadong gumamit na mga, na mga words that are not appropriate with the with their levels of understanding. Kailangan tignan mo yung ability nila. Mas lalo nung pandemic, most of the learners are are distance learning. Yung mga self-contained self textbook na can easily understand nila, at ma-develop yung skills nila. Next, next solicit and to the point. Keep focus on the course that the textbook is supporting and the topics that the need needs to be covered. Avoid in, including less relevant topics, very advanced topics, explanation of the concepts that our students should already understand and other content which not actually be useful to the students. Remember, when you are writing your textbook, the topics are relevant to their future endeavor. If, it, if your textbook is focused on how to write thesis, so that the focus of your manuscript or your textbook focuses on how to write thesis. Do not include other ideas that are, that are irrelevant on the topics. And you need to identify the level of their academic journey. Do not advance the topic that are not intended for the the needs of the the needs of the readers. For example, how to write dissertations. It means that your client or doctorate students, so that your the 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 language that you that you can utilize are based on their their academic journey. Next. Deductive elements, elements such as exercise, case study, definition, so, so on, help break up the main chapter text and make it more engage, engaging. It means when you're writing your textbook or your academic references or your book, provide a case studies, exercises, uh, definitions, so that they can solicit a better understanding with regards to the subject matter doon sa textbooks mo or doon sa, sa yung books. Uh, for example, for example, if you're going to write a professional education book, for example, the teach, the, your book is the teacher and the school curriculum. Provide an exercise, exercise that align with the licensure examination. Table of specifications. Provide a assessment practices that align with the competency dun sa licensure examinations na. It means that some of the exercises are aligned with the multiple choices examination in the licensure examination so that hindi na sila hahanap ng kahit ano pang references dahil dun pa lang sa materials mo or dun sa textbook mo ay review na sila kasi ganun din yung examinations na na choices na questions na makikita na doon sa assessment practices mo or assessments mo. If it is, uh, for example, your book is focuses on nursing, provide case study on different issues and concern or diseases or case study diseases. So, understand really on the subject matter. If it is a mathematics, Provide an illustrative examples, more illustrative examples and how to solve this illustrative example or illustrative problems so that they can easily understand the nature of the uh, subject matter. Next, textbook can have a lighter or more conversational writing style than monographs and reference work. 
try to use active rather than passive sentences. It means, kapag nagsusulat kayo na ang yung textbook or your book, always think that your readers or lagi nyo titignan that your readers are aligned with their, acad their academic uh, uh, endeavor. Kung ito ay pang high school, pang high school lang yung writing styles na ganyamitin nyo. Kung ito ay pang graduate program, gamitin nyo yung language sa pang graduate program. Okay? Kung ito ay tinatawag no, na manual, syempre kung ito ay manual, pwede siyang mas lighter, light, lighter yung mga language na gagamitin nyo or writing styles na gagamitin nyo. Okay. After providing different tips and ideas on writing your your textbooks or learning materials, ito yung mga dapat yung tandaan. At paulit-ulit kung sinasabi, kapag, kapag ako yung nagsusulat at may co-author ako na, na sa aking libro o sa mga libro na sinusulat ko, the social content guidelines of your textbook or your learning materials. Remember that your learning materials or your textbook or your books align with the nations and citizenships. Kailangan treat the national symbols and institution with respect. Okay? Para hindi, uh, kadalasan ng panahon ng pandemic, marami naging issue with regards to social content. Kaya kailangan with regards to your write-ups, kailangan kunitignan nyo to. Foster obedience to and respect for the constitution and law. Another one, encourage participative and responsible citizenships. Another one, avoid any bias favoring foreign products, practices, and values. Another one, use illustrations and photographs of Philippine communities, objects, or animals, and people. For example, when you are providing different example of vertebrates rates organism, if it is science subjects or biology, provide Philippine communities or pro provide Philippine animals or or species so that the learners identify that your text were, textbook or your books are aligned with the Philippine nations. Nakala siya sa Philippine nations. Ibig sabihin, yung mga nakalagay doon, nakikita niya. Next, show Filipino technology, games, dance, dress, food, festival celebrations, and others. If it is your subject matter or your area of concentration of your textbook are, are Philippine history or social studies or economics, kailangan mapuprovide natin yung mga uh, culture natin. These are referring to nation and citizenships. The next one is for society. These are social guide, social content guidelines of in terms of society. Okay, the the fixed contribution of men and women, ethnic and cultural group in economic and social progress. Okay, kailan tinitignan natin yan when you're writing your social content of your books or textbook or learning materials. Foster attitude of tolerance, understanding, and appreciation of diverse sectors and groups in society. And present a balanced rural and urban society. Remember that, ha? When you're writing your, your textbook or your books, kailangan na balance mo yung provincial and yung rural or urban society. Hindi, uh, hindi pwedeng ano, more on urban or rural, ang focus lang yung book, yung mga illustrative examples mo or experience na mga na ibibigay mo doon sa textbook mo or book. Kailangan balance lang po siya. The next one is give an example of lifestyle or situation exists outside Metro Manila. Use both rural and urban situation without stereotyping either. Avoid comparison which may be diverse to social classes, cultural, or religious groups. And show respect for different family patterns. Remember ha, kailangan tignan natin. I remember there is an issue with regards to 
a learning materials or learning module with regards to family map, family pattern. So that we need to focus and we need to consider social uh social at a uh, social consideration with regards to family pattern kung ito ay nuclear extended single parent or two parents that you are going to present an ex an illustrative example in your book kailangan ko no consider niya siya you need to sell you need to respect the family pattern of filipino the next one is to provide respect and rights of children elderly Different, differently able and other vulnerable sectors of society. Okay? Refrain from devoting space and attention to paths or transitional transition, uh, transit, transitory personage or and either an attested theory or view. Promote the needs for high ethical standards and code of behavior and their observance in the aspect of Philippine society. Another social content guidelines na kailangan yung tignan, yung mga focus ng inyong textbook or books. Kailangan hindi nagpo-provide ng mga tinatawag na physical, sexual, or mental abuses. Particularly sa mga adult or children. Huwag ka magbubigay ng mga illustrative examples or mga experiences, subject experiences, particular dyan sa mga yan. Do not give the situation that would encourage crime, violence, and vices. Avoid materials that malign people, promote violation of law, and matters contrary to the law and morality. For example, there is an issue with regards to learning materials on the martial law. Do not uh, malign other issues that are not intended on the subject matter. If your subject matter is in the Philippine Philippine history, we need to uh to find a valid sources or valid valid references for in-text citations that provide a valid explanation on the on on the events on martial laws or other issues. Next, race and ethnicity and culture. Uh, one an example is respect racial and ethnic and cultural diversity in our society. For example, when uh, in I remember I have an a an advice in masters in public administration. The nature of the research research the ginagawa is all about uh, uh different ethnic groups. On how they're going to manage different ethnic groups in in their barangay. Then after that, after they finish their their manuscript in master's program, pinablish niya. Ah, uh, niya that the content of their book I may respect sa racial, ethnic, and cultural diversity dun sa barangay. Ibig sabihin ang master's and dissertation manuscript nyo, pwede siya maging book. Kailangan nyo nang kinukonsider nyo lang yung mga evidences or empirical data with regards to respect of racial, ethnic, and cultural diversity found in your manuscript. Avoid bias and stereotyping in reference to any individual or groups. Avoid inaccurate and unnecessary or improper portray of reference to to racial, ethnic, or cultural customs, symbols, observance, and festival dress names or languages. Sab sabi ko sa inyo, in the first part of my discussion, you need to research and read different materials or references to provide accurate, necessary, and appropriate uh, evidences or portray on the reference of the, your subject matter, particularly in racial or ethnic or cultural customs or symbols. Kailangan titignan natin yun. Next, religion. Use religion, references, symbols, or celebration and language in the text, illustration, and photographs. Ulitin ko ha, if, if your illustrative example in your textbook 
are focuses on different religions. For example, your title of your book is Word Religion. You need to cite and references on every illustrations or photograph only when appropriate to the subject matter. Next, ensure that any appropriate reference to religious group are accurate and authentic within the setting or a period of history presented. Next, role models. Remember that your textbook also consider social context, social content, guidelines with regards to the role models. Avoid sex bias, stereotyping of male and female roles. For example, uh, there's a isang textbook na na-issue before or isang learning materials na issue before na television with regards to the role of the mother in the, in the house. There's some stereotyping with regards to that. So that we need to avoid sex bias or stereotyping on your textbook or your book or in your manuscript or your your master's thesis or your dissertation that will be published uh, published as a book. Kailangan i-avoid nyo yung mga biases niyo or stereotyping na yan. Another one, portray husband and wives as a partner in homemaking and family management. Next, as much as possible, possible avoid choices of living person as a role model except for person of exceptional and acknowledged accomplishment on the virtues regardless of the racial, ethnic, or cultural origin or affiliations. Next, refrain from glorifying or unduly exploring person and their accomplishment. With regards to writing your textbook or your book, do not glorify a person and provide uh, their accomplishment. bias. We need to eliminate biases with regards to For example, uh, there is an issue with regards to to learning modules before with regards to a precedent so that we need to you need to uh in content uh, yung, uh with regards to that uh, matter we need to focus on the balance of the social content with regards to the role model of this uh person kailang kailangan kapag nasusulat ka ng book there is no bias another one percent a balanced feature of of role uh, roles of a worker and manager in your books or your uh, textbooks or your manuscripts. Show a good role models of public servants such as police officers, soldiers, and government officials instead of ridiculing them. Tandaan po natin yan ha when you're writing your textbook. Kailangan ang public officials or public servants or role a good show a good role model in your manuscripts or your textbook or your books show worker who are contribute to philippine development another one with regards to gender social content guidelines avoid sexist language or biases and stereotyping of male and female as a professions occupations contribution to the society and home and family roles and behavior and do not differentiate either explicitly or implicitly between capability of male and female or contribute to political, economic, or social well-being of Philippine society or the world. With regards to your textbook, kailangan balance lang po. And maintain balance in the treatment of gender role, occupations, and contribution in the texts and illustrations of your manuscript. Uh, avoid giving more too much uh, examples on the male, focus on the male, or focus on the female need to balance on the treatment of the gender roles of of your subject matters in your book. Uh, wag masyadong gumamit ng his and her. Kailangan neutral lang. Population. Promote responsible parenthood and share decision in making various area of home life. For example, family planning, family fin financing, education of the children, etc. And healthy and safety. Promote physical and mental well-being of male and female children and adults. Tandaan nyo ang, ang inyong kinikater 
are learners, particularly learners or readers nyo are mga nag-aaral. Kaya kailangan promote nyo yung mga uh, physical and mental well-being ng mga content na yun. Discourage use of tobacco, alcohol, narcotics, and restricted drugs in your textbook. Avoid, siyempre, yung pag, uh, 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 enjoyment sa pag, ano, sa mga junk foods. As an illustrative example in your book. And promote health and safety standard and precautions. And, with regards to environment, portray effort to conserve the country natural resources and protect the quality of environment. And promote personal and community involvement in environmental manager, management for sustainable development. And others, avoid commercial brand names and corporate logos on your book. And encourage humane treatment of animals and respect for life of all kinds, including plants. Uh, again, that's all. I hope you, uh, you grasp a better understanding on how to write a book from start to finish. It means the focus of my discussion are on how to write a book and some of the social guidelines. Again, when you're writing your book, always consider social guidelines. Social guidelines so that uh, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng problema with regards to legal, legality of the content of your book. Thank you and maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, let us give a virtual applause to talk uh, uh, to talk samosa. Now it is time for the open forum. If you have some questions, you may use the raise hand button for you to be recognized or type in your question in the in the uh, chat box. Our session for this uh, for this evening is only allocated for two hours. Uh, we will cater to as many questions as possible, depending on the availability of our time. So to our participants who will be tapped to ask questions via Zoom, I would like you to introduce yourself first, the institution where you are affiliated with, and your question. Okay. So while waiting, uh, while waiting, siguro uh, ako na yung mauna, sir, no? sa question natin. Um, what are your, uh, no, sir, what, uh, what is your advice uh, to those aspiring writers uh, who are discouraged to write due to some hindrances uh, in, uh, encountered such as the rigid process and uh, lack of good writing plans and tools? Uh... Siguro ang advice ko, sir, we need to set your set uh, uh, achievable goals. For example, nung una, nung una rin ako nagsusulat, uh, ang unang problem ko is the time management. Remember, I'm in a public school and also a, uh, a part-time professor. So that my, the, the most important thing kaya ako nagsulat ng libro is to provide quality books for my learners na hindi na sila mahihirapan pumunta ng library because uh, the ideas and my expertise are found in my book. Ibig sabihin, doon pa lang, uh, kahit wala ako, yung learning materials na mababasa nila, ako na yun. Kumbaga, in the Department of Education, most of us are, are equipped with regards to writing learning modules. But we need to focus on the content of your book or your learning materials. At lagi ko sinasabi, pag magsusulat ng libro o magsusulat ng manuscript, ah, magbasa ng magbasa. Tignan natin iba't ibang ah, perspective ng ibang writers. Particularly kung ang, ang subject matters mo ay research, o ito ang subject matters mo is supervision and instruction, kaya kailangan titignan mo iba't ibang ah, theoretical principles ng book mo. For example, on my book, I provide a, uh, a, uh, a theoretical principles na nagsusulat ako ng libro. Kailangan ang core pa rin siya sa theoretical principles. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. So again, uh, if you have some questions, so uh, you may use the raise hand button uh, for you to re recognize or use uh, our chat box. Just type in your questions. I think, sir, though, parang na satisfied at <laughs> sa content na na present mo ngayon. Ah, uh, by uh, the way, sir, I will send send the file of the example of the poop. Okay, sir. Uh, I think uh, we have uh, we have one question here, sir. Uh, sa ating chat box. Uh, this is uh, from uh. Okay, so the, the questions here, sir, um, with the advent of technology and robust learning materials from the internet, are these online learning sources could suffice a reliable textbook? That is the uh, question, sir, from our participant. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, nangyayari yan. But if you're going to innovate, if you're going to utilize different resources in online and merge to your traditional uh, textbook by providing different activities that are accessible through internet naman. For example, one of my book na ginawa ko is yung uh, action research manual ko. I provide different assessment tasks and different uh technological innovations on writing research to own. Kung baga, minerge ko yung technical, technological advancement and yung traditional uh, traditional features ng textbooks or books. Ibig sabihin, dun sa mga pinuprovide ko na mga, dun sa pinuprovide ko na libro na sinula ko, it's also provide different uh, PowerPoint presentations that can be easily accessed by other readers and some of the activities are pwede makita din through online. Siyempre, sir, may mga tendency na may mga uh, resources tayo ng internet that will also advance the ideas of the readers. Kaya kailangan natin makita at ma-check natin if the resources from the internet will be inserted in your book. Kaya kailangan, may mga editors pa rin tayo. Kaya uh, on the next talk of Dr. Capuso, they can also share their, uh, their expertise on with regards to that. Uh, thank you, sir. So we have a question, sir, from uh, Sir Roderick uh, Paraiso. Uh, sir, you are recognized. You may open your camera and uh, please introduce yourself and the institution where you are affiliated. Please unmute your mic, sir. Sir Roderick, uh, you are, um, your mic is still mute, sir. Answer, Roderick Paraiso. Uh, sir, uh, your, please open your mic for you to be heard by our resource speaker. Nakamute ka pa rin po, sir. Unmute. Okay. Hello, sir. Okay, na po, sir. Okay, na Sir, how many authors are required or authorized per book? Ah, uh, sir. Uh, sag sagutin na kita pero Dr. Capuso also will will be discussed with regards to that. Eh, we need to focus on the criteria in the NBC if you are in the higher education institution. Siyempre, sir, may mga pointing system yan, di ba, sir? Kasi we need to focus also on the gain of your... Uh, sacrifice nyo dahil pag nagsusulat kayo. But kung ako tatanungin, based on my experiences, three authors is okay. But syempre, titignan nyo rin sir kapag magsusulat kayo, 
yung points na makukuha niyo kapag nagsusulat kayo ng libro din, syempre, kasi nag-invest din kayo doon ng money and time. In the, in the Department of Education kasi, 10 points kasi siya. But in the higher education, higher education institution, kapag pinagbasihan natin ng NDC, kapag sole author ka, malaki ang putos. Kapag may co-author ka dun sa book, hati kayo dun sa points. Kaya kailangan mo rin kukonsider yung points na makuha mo kapag magsusulat ka na ng libro. Pro. Yun isa sa mga suggestion ko. Ha. Pag masyadong marami kasi, medyo tignan din natin na yung makukuha natin din ng mga puntos. But it will also, kung mga five authors, okay din naman po. Pero I suggest three authors is enough. Thank you, sir. Uh, just to follow up, uh, sir, uh, follow up question naman. Uh, uh, can you give us tips po sa like sa system po ng co-writing. Ano po, ano po, sir? Uh, tips uh, sa system ng co-writing. Okay. Ha, isa sa mga tips na pwede kong mabigay sa inyo, uh, unang-una ha, unang-una, ma, uh, you need to re uh, read and read muna before you write a textbook or book. Magbasa muna ng iba't ibang mga books. For example, uh, your subject, your title of your book is uh, statistics. Statistics. Every every author or for every writers, may way sila ng presentation ng statistical treatment or statistical analysis. May mga simplified. Meron sila na way kung paano i-interpret yung mga data analysis that will be included on your your textbook or for example kapag ang pagsusulat nyo is all about research you can utilize illustrative example of different publish research as an illustrative example for every parts of the thesis or dissertations and with regards to your technicalities kailangan susundin mo pa rin yung technicalities na ibibigay or ipiprescribe ng publisher at syempre May mga may mga may mga tendency rin, syempre ako, hindi naman ako language expert eh. May mga tendency rin na may mga loopholes din ako pagdating sa grammar. Syempre may mga yung publisher, may editor naman sila, may language editor, may language editor naman sila that will cater on mga loops nyo on the grammar. But with regards to content, content or the subject matter of your textbook, kailangan equip ka. Kailangan pag nagsusulat kayo Ah, uh, ilang beses mo siya i-check, i-edit o titignan yung content mo kasi it will be published. Eh. Your credibility of your ability and your profession will be part of your textbook din naman. Kaya kailangan before your before you publish your textbook or your book, ulit-ulitin mo check yung content mo or yung subject matter mo o delivery ng concepts mo. Mas ano kung pag ito ay pinag-usapan ay mga illustrative examples sa mathematics, i-double check mo yung mga mga uh, mathematical equations mo or algebraic expressions, uh, algebraic computations mo. Or sa science naman, kapag ito ay mga computations, kailangan i-check mo ng ilang beses. Ang um, pagsusulat kasi, hindi siya minamadali. Totally. Thank you, sir. So we have another question from the uh, chat box. Uh, let me read. Uh, hello, sir. In relation to the question, uh, learning sources, uh, may may mas suggest po ba kayo na mga reliable link uh, sources, ebook links, especially po uh, 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 IT may IT may ma provide po ba kayo, sir? Na sample websites. Thanks, thanks po, sir. Especially um, IT. Um, Nasaan? Wait ha. Wait sir ha. Ay... I-ano ko lang sir. I-remind ko lang anong website. Siguro sir, I will attach on the presentation na ng sir yung mga website na mga pre-download e-books. No? Mga pre-download e-books. Kasi marami masyado yun eh. I-isa-isain ko. Siguro sir ha. 
I will promise to you that on my PowerPoint presentation, you can access the link of ebook or sources of information technology. Thank you, sir. So we have uh, another uh, question from the chat box. Uh, let me read. Uh, good evening. In writing up and publishing a book, does it need to be a product of a research? Not totally, naman, sir. Uh, uh, Ma'am uh, ma Romel, Romelin. Not, not naman totally. But honestly speaking, uh, siyempre kapag gagawa, magsusulat ka ng libro, one of, my, one of my techniques, if my books are effective, I will utilize first on my, my classroom with the, with the permission of my school head or my dean, before ko siya i-publish para ma-check yung reliability and validity of the content. Isa sa mga technique ko yun, sir, para, ay ma'am, para makita ko kung effective yung aking, yung aking mm -hmm. materials or yung books ko. We'll also focus on the ADI model. Yung, yung tinatawag natin na na ADI model. Kasi, uh, kapag magpa-publish kasi ng book kasi, hindi na siya mababawi eh. Makikita na ng maglayo kasi at makikita na siya ng, at kailangan may accession siya from the uh, tinatawag natin na National Library. Kaya before ako mag-publish at one of, one of my ex one of my strategy, before ko siya ma-publish, tinatas ko muna yung validity ng content yeah. sa mga sudyante ko. Hindi ko siya pinapublish without na ma-dry ma run ko muna sa mga sudyante ko. Okay. Uh, thank you po, sir. So, I think uh, we will uh, cater last one question from the from our participants. We have some more questions from uh, Doc Samosa. Pero dito, sir, sa chat box, mayroong question. Ah, okay, okay. So, we have um, the, the last question from um, uh, from Jafet Nabaira, Sir Jafet Nabaira. Uh, in writing books and other printed materials, how can we partner to external publishing companies since uh, the guidelines for IMs is telling us that it has to go through uh, uh, to go through the uh, wait, nice. <laughs> uh, university yeah. uh, university yes. in uh Instruction and materials evaluation committee and so on. Okay. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, ha, uh, if your learning materials are are naibigay na sa inyong university evaluation community co committee at inalaw naman siya ma-publish dun sa institution nyo, okay po siya. But we need to uh, provide also informed consent and dun sa university nyo, kung external publishing company. Kasi may tie-up ka doon sa university mo. May legal may legal basis kasi na kailangan meron sila magpapaalam ka. Uh, ano ka kung ako, isa ako sa writer sa Department of Education, ini-inform ko ang Department of Education with regards to some of my learning materials na pinapublish ko. Dahil isang dapat sa tinan mo kapag ang uh, uh, instruction materials ay dumaan sa evaluation committee, dumaan siya sa proseso ng nasa government. Kung ito ay university at gagamitin naman sa instruction sa school, ay di sa university publishing house ka na lang mag-cater. Okay? Pero kung, kung sa university uh, Printing ano naman, at makipag-tie up kay external publishing, pwede naman yun. We'll also explain ba, niya naman ni Dr. Capuso kasi nagagawa yan ng, ng Beyond, Books, Beyond Books Publication. Nakipag-tie up siya sa so, university. Pwede po yun. Thank you po, basta sir. May, basta may contract siya, ha? May contract siya sa university or, and also external publishing. Medyo masalimut na yan kapag, kapag ikaw lang at dun sa external part external part. Kaya kailangan uh, inform yung inyong university evaluation committee or your university. 
Uh, thank you po, sir. Uh, you know what, as much as we want to cater more questions, pero kinukulang po talaga tayo ng oras uh, ngayon. Pero um, I hope, sir, that uh, some questions here is uh, pwede natin ma-direct uh, uh, na lang kay Doc uh, Samosa. Uh, sir, so uh, that um, um, uh, meron pong response sa kanilang questions and uh, concerns pa rin. Pero I think uh, siguro, sir, i-brought up ko lang dito yung uh, ang one uh, concern from the body na uh, ask if uh, you could also provide a soft copy of your Yes, uh, so I will provide also the soft copy of the uh, my lecture and also the soft copy of the yung part ng libro para may guide din sila. Nakapiray naman, naman po yun eh. Thank you po sir. So I think uh, that is all. Um, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Samosa. Very informative and helpful topic uh, for us this uh, evening. But this is just uh, our first day, uh, but very fruitful and substantive. Once again, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Uh, Samosa. This time, for the giving of certificate, uh, let me read you the details. Pies 21. Uh, I44 and I am teachers awards this certificate of recognition to Dr. Resti C. Samosa for imparting his invaluable time, resources, and expertise as resource speaker on the topic how to write a book from start to finish during the conduct of 2023 National Work Con on enhancing the writing and publishing skills of the 21st century educators and researchers. Accorded this 27th day of January 2023 via Zoom video conference, video conference. Signed, uh, Emmy Jan E. Palmani, National President of the PIES 21. Signed, Jerry P. Hovacon, National President of I44. Signed, uh, Jovic Lulipa, of National President of I Am Teachers Incorporation. So once again, thank you very much, Dr. Samosa, for making this uh, evening very fruitful and informative. Thank you, Paul. So um, for some announcement, um, to earn a certificate of participation, you must sign up for uh, evaluation or attendance form that is posted uh, in the Zoom or sa ating uh, chat box on our or uh, and also sa ating uh, Facebook page and uh, YouTube channel and uh, the certificate of participation and the PDF copy of uh, Dr. Samosa's presentation will be sent to your respective email. Um, right after this event, fun verification of uh, your attendance. And um, at this time, may we request everyone to uh, stay on calm as, uh, and uh, give us your big smile as you will have a quick uh, photo opportunity together with uh, Dr. Samosa. May we, may we request everyone to please open your camera for a quick uh, photo opportunity. Okay, so good afternoon everyone. So we have four panels in our room. So just keep smiling. So ready, one, two, three, and smile.
Okay, again, big, uh, give us your big smiles. So that's it. Uh, there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Thank you very much. And uh, good evening. See you on Saturday. Thank you.